I ain't even put them there for you. What's up, y'all? Happy birthday, Episode 7.5. Happy birthday, Bean. Happy he in the back making mad noise. Happy and birthday. he got the headphones. I know he hit himself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, happy birthday, Bean, man. Happy Bean Waskus. You know what I'm saying? Happy birthday, Beanie. That's my man, Pacino, the plug. Happy birthday, you know, Chain Chain. He's the studio's little brother. Yep. Baby you know what I'm saying? Team. Yeah, he's he's the library studio's little brother. Nigga just turned 15 today. And he get on our fucking nerves just like a little brother. But we Boys love him. Fuck out of me. Love man. him just like a little brother. Yeah. And it's his birthday, man. So yeah, man. God bless him, man. Shouts to the bean, man. Clap it up for Chain. One thing I give my boy, he work hard, man. Definitely. My boy is definitely talented, man. My nigga like radio, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My nigga is talented, man. Shout out to my guy, man. Go check him out, man. My man Bean. He just dropped a beat tape, too. What's the name of your shit, Bean? Yeah. This shit called Still Living. Yeah, and that's man. fitting for his fucking birthday. Uh-huh. You know? I mean, you can't really ask for much, man, on your birthday if, you're, if gifts your ass not here. You're giving gifts out on his birthday, man. Yeah, man, them street treats, man. You know, yeah, but we here, y'all. Sure. Yo, my fault. You know, we a little late on the MC. My fault, man. You know, it's all good though. But yeah, we had we had a lot going on, man. Happy Thanksgiving, belated to all y'all niggas out on the internet. Happy belated Turkey Day. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Thanksgiving. We usually do our podcast towards the end of the week. Everybody always asks us like, Yo, what day you record? Yeah. Not gonna lie, we don't really have a set day. Because every day we work and there's a lot of shit going on at the same time and shit. Niggas wear many hats at the same time. Uh -huh. So we usually find some time towards the end of the week where we get together and we do this. But um, towards the end of the week, last week was Thanksgiving. And then after, free my nigga Pasta. You know, my man Pasta just went in. But before he went in, All right, free you know what I'm saying? He, 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 he been working on a few projects, you know, over here at the studio. For the last couple years, at the really. Library studio. So, if you um, don't know. he, uh, yeah, here at the library, and he been um working on these projects, and he really wanted to get some stuff done before he had to go in. So, he did like a lockout session with us. We was in the stool with him for the past four days. The last two days, can you chill out, Crinkles? The last two days, he fucking uh, he was in here for thirty hours straight. The right. last two days was together. Uh -huh. So he came two days in a row, and then the last two days was st straight 30 hours. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nobody left. We was locked in, man. You know, my man, this is no exaggeration, he got over 45 songs done yeah. in the past four days. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the good songs, too. It wasn't like he was just in there putting up yeah, some bullshit. Like wavy. Making quality joints. That's a fact. Yeah, people coming through, getting on the joints. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My man was definitely on some Tupac-esque. <laughs> type shit, you know what I'm saying? Pasta Valley. Yeah, man. Shout outs to my man Pasta, aka Two Pasta Shakur. You know what I'm saying? Free you, bro. You know, we see Free you pasta, soon, man. man. Yeah, that shit man. gonna be a blink of an eye, man. My boy be right back. But in the meantime, he got plenty of fucking music that he about to drop on your head top uh -huh. to hold you over. Right. You know what I mean? Shout outs to my guy. Shout outs to the whole hustle have. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? All my sound view niggas, right. all my Yeti side niggas. Uh -huh. you know the vibes, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Flukas, you know, fucking, we out here, man. So we was, so clearly, I'm telling y'all, we had a busy, we had a lot of shit going on, you know what I'm saying? So we ain't really have nowhere to fit in, uh, you know, because, you know, if you didn't know, I also engineer. I feel like every episode I tell y'all something that I do. And when I say this, it's not really like I just do it like a hobby or some shit. Like this is really my Day in, day out life. I'm mm -hmm. blessed that I'm able to make music for a living. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's through <clears throat> uh, myself as an artist and songwriter. That's also uh, uh, through producing and engineering, you know? Right. So, yeah, man, we we out here. We working every day, you know? It's a blessing. And we in the studio. And I uh, really wanted to facilitate that for my guy, Pasta. Make sure he got that done before... He, uh, he had to go, and we were able to. And it was great, you know, but we're here now, you know what I'm saying? Episode 7.5, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. 
You know what I mean? That's the quarter with a little spliff, extra, three little extra spliff. You know what your man be like, I'll put a little extra in there for you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It that's was a little this, over. That's what this episode is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just that's for y'all, man. Golly, number 7.5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yo, man, chill out in New York. I just read an article. Look, I'm going to hit y'all with the facts, too. We already knew this. If you're from New York City, you already know, because all you got to do is look around when you're outside. It's cameras fucking everywhere. Everywhere. It's been like that for a while now. Mm -hmm. But New York is one of the most surveilled cities Uh. Not if not just in the country, but in the world. You know what I'm saying? And they just said that they just put this article out talking about the NYPD using more than 15,000 cameras. And it's probably more than that now because I'm seeing that this article is from a while ago. And they said over, over half of or about half of all intersections in New York City is under camera surveillance. So that's pretty much any block you walk across, any cross street that you passing by, niggas seen you. And what right. they doing, the NYPD specifically, is uh, they use facial recognition, and, you know, they get you on there. Yeah, that's the government. That's, I and think they, that's the um, government thing. I don't think it's the NYPD. No, it's the NYPD. I mean, NYPD, NYPD yeah, uses the... the well, I'm talking about here, yeah, what they doing yeah, here. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They use the facial recognition technology, yeah. and they find you on the, on the shit. Now, you can't see it. Yeah. Fucking, um... They find you on the shit, and they'll follow you through they, the through the joint. Yeah, like, they, you know what I'm saying? Like software, but I think it's just it's yeah. a government thing. Like, well, no, yeah, the government, they... Implemented the, the, it. The technology might have been made by the, right. the government first. But, well, really, the, the technology was made by some computer nigga, and it was probably bought by the government. What, he needs to be closer? Oh, look, that's all you had to tell him. He said, you didn't say nothing but a word. <laughs> So I need to be close to the baby girl. That's it. Nigga said, eh? and we already got on our protection, so you know. Don't <laughs> worry about nothing. What's up, Ain't girl? Say nothing but a word, baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> Caress that weave. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But now, Yo, yeah, my man said that, that uh, he was laying recognition. with a girl, her hair felt like like broom bristles. <laughs> <laughs> she, had on, the fit, she had the um, she had the party city wig. Nah, that's tough. Don't get that. <laughs> but you know what? We love you. We love you, sister. Get it together, though. Sh Shorty had the party city get it wig. together. Smiling on him. But yeah, man. You on camera. You being watched. You know? Mm -hmm. What they said, they said it was over 3,500 cameras in the Bronx by itself. Jesus You know Christ. what I mean? That's a whole fucking lot, man. They on you. They on us. Hey, watch it, man. New York City, you know... This shit used to be like God to be upset, you know, like the creeps in the night. You don't want to go down that alley, that dark alley. It's all good. That alley got lights and cameras, and the cameras got sound. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Can't do nothing nowhere. Not saying that we wanted to do anything. You know, I'm just saying. I'm just putting out the information. You might have wanted to take a piss or something. Yeah, you got to be careful now, man. Don't, don't take no... Uh... Niggas is watching you on camera. No haphazard pisses out here. You know what I mean? <coughs> McDonald's, you got to chill the fuck out. Oh, yeah, yeah. McDonald's yeah. is wilding. Yeah, I don't man. know if y'all seen it. I know it's inflation going on. Definitely. I know we in a recession. I know they trying to hold off us going into, like, a real, like, full recession. Yeah. I know that. But, uh, yeah. McDonald's, you got to chill out. The prices is fucking ridiculous. Niggas is wilding. Prices is ridiculous, and uh, I went over there to get some some of that punk ass breakfast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, these niggas was bugging out. They tried to that shit was like thirty beans. I got breakfast for two people. Everybody know McDonald's breakfast is cheaper than the <laughs> than the regular food. Yeah, niggas was acting like the BLT was six dollars. That's exactly <laughs> how they was acting. They got to chill out, man. Donald's breakfast is supposed to be a quick one, two, three, you know? Um, oh, you see 21 and Nas, they got it together. Yeah, yeah, they they, they squashed the beef and all that. Yeah, if, if little, you want to call it beef. I mean, not beef, you know, but, you know. Like they got little, it together, yeah, they put it together. Like, nonsense, whatever was going on, they squashed yeah, that in. Because they was like, listen, man, take it easy. Yeah, man. Get a song together. Yep. 
think the song is called 21 Nas. I think that's the name of the song. I don't know if it's just... That's what they got on the cover art, but I think okay. that's the name of the song. Oh, the song is called One Mic, One, one Mike, Gun. One okay. Gun, yeah. Yeah, shouts to them niggas for piecing it up. You know what I mean? This shit, this shit, that was dope. You know what I'm saying? And Nas is smart for that, man. That was great promotion. That nigga used... All this internet bickering bullshit that niggas be doing, he used it to his advantage. Right. And this is, I ain't gonna lie, niggas need to take notes. He did some shit that are, that an older niggas supposed to do. He got put in a situation that young niggas be getting put in, and they usually do some dumb shit when they get put in this situation, mm -hmm. and then they fucking uh, do some dumb shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He showed niggas like, look, nigga, this situation, all these niggas want to do is see a show. And, and at the end of the day, we entertain us. So instead of giving you entertainment at uh, at my expense, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you entertainment at, you know what I'm saying? Not at your expense because you're not losing anything, uh -huh. but it's it's at my game. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that was definitely like an OG move to do. Like, you know, because a lot of times move. young niggas say like, Oh, this nigga, you don't get it because it's not your time. Y'all niggas wasn't on the internet. So some internet shit happened to an older nigga, and he handled it the way how you feel an OG should. You know what I'm saying? So shouts to Nas for handling that shit that, in that fashion. You know what I mean? Bro, yeah, man. Bro, Don King and oh, yeah, You know what I'm saying? Shouts, shouts to Nas, man. And fuck Clubhouse. Clubhouse <laughs> be on some bullshit. Who own Club, Clubhouse? I bet it's not a black man. I I don't know. Let me see. It's Clubhouse owned by a black man. Who owns Clubhouse? If Clubhouse is owned by a black man, then I'm not going to say fuck Clubhouse because get your money, bro. But no, fuck no. Paul Davidson. It's not a black man. I wasn't going to say his name. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm taking that out. It's this all oh, this white guy. Yeah, that's all. I, all I need yeah. to know is, was it a black man? Yeah, the answer is no. And Fuck yeah. Clubhouse still stands. Um, Moving forward, <laughs> um, fucking, what else? Oh, yeah. Shout-outs to Buddha, Grands, Mike Cuz, Davies. Shout-outs to all my niggas over there. Uh -huh. Album is hard. Book of David, that shit is out now. Yeah. Last episode, we told y'all was coming out. That shit is out here now. That shit is wavy. Shit is hard body karate, man. Absolutely. My niggas put their ankle in that shit, man. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Cooked up some of that wave for you. You know what I mean? That shit fire. Yeah, shout out to Davies' album. You know what I mean? I know you spoke about your man Rich Hill yeah, last yeah. time. You told me yeah. you checked out the project. Yeah, that shit is that shit was wavy, man. Yeah. What you um I know you said uh he went back to his his older style on this shit. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 spitting. He he's, he's on his rapper shit like his his old right, style. Cause sometimes yeah. he make more like rock and roll type songs, right? Yeah, yeah. He be going back and forth, but he's on shit. his rapping shit a little bit, like yeah, some nah, of the song, a couple of songs, not the whole shit. I mean, yeah, yeah, but it's all right. A couple songs is wavy. I got it, man. So it's for chill. I was told by niggas over there. My nigga, um, what's the name? Got a project coming out. Man, um, Babyface Ray. Oh, yeah, shouts to Raymond. On the second, I think uh, December 2nd is dropping. You know, we fucks with Raymond. Yeah. Definitely gonna check that out. Oh, yeah, the Ron Westmore shit, too. Who's that? That's um, E-40, Too Short, Snoop Dogg, and Ice Cube. Oh, the OG's doing something. Yeah. Ron Westmore. That's tough. Check that out too. Where'd that go out? Um, it's not even sure to be honest with you. December 9th. Shout outs to that, man. Shout outs to the whole December, man. If you didn't know my birthday in December, man, yeah. shout outs to the whole December, man. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, you know, yeah, shout out all my Sagittarius. Shout out to my Capricorns, too. I fuck with my Caps, man. I got a lot of Capricorns in my family. You know what I'm saying? Shouts to everybody. All my December niggas, man. Fuck it. 
Oh yeah. BG is home. Yeah, I heard. Shouts out to BG for cash money. Mm-hmm. Man did 17 years, man. Stood tall, you know what I mean? Stood on this shit. Mm-hmm. Shouts to that man, man. Welcome home. Welcome back to the world. Back to your family, man. Shouts out to that guy, man, BG. You know what I'm saying? We love you out here. My boy definitely dropped classics. Definitely dropped joints that we all grew up to. We all went to the parties. You was busting the move to them BG joints, man. That's a fact. Cash yeah, money is the you. army, better yet the navy. You know what I'm saying? My boy got classics. Welcome home, BG, man. Uh, Also, on a sadder note, rest in peace to Hovain. You know what I'm saying? Hovain yeah. is a manager, a lot of great New York artists. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, he's also a good nigga. You know what I mean? I only met him a, a couple times, a handful of times in studios and stuff, and passing and stuff, or doing the session with a, with an artist that he's managing or something like that. You know, I didn't know him personally or anything, but he's always a very nice guy, very, very uh, respectful and honorable guy. You know what I mean? So rest in peace to him. God bless his family and all yeah, rest that. Rest in you know peace, Hovain. I mean? Yeah, man, like we said, I feel like we said this like the last few episodes, you know what I mean? A lot of people is dying yeah, man. too it's... fast, too early, man. Damn near every episode, man. Take it's... care of yourself, man. Seventh episode is R.I.P. And in all ways, in any way that you can, just take care of yourself, man. That's not to nothing specific or anyone that we lost. That's just in general to us while we here. Just take care of yourself and do what you can, man. Mm. Man, love your people. Take care of your people. Tell your people you love them, man. You know, shit like that. You know? Um, fucking... I went to I went I went to uh an event on Sunday. I went to Market Mondays Live. You know, if people ever heard of Earn Your Leisure, mm-hmm. they do a show. They like a financial literacy show, you know. Uh some brothers uh from New York actually, they from White Plains, Greenberg up in nine one four, you know what I'm saying? You know, we from uptown, so we close to Westchester. Right. You know what I mean? So shout outs to all my White Plains niggas, all my Greenberg niggas, Yonkers niggas, Mount Vernon niggas, you know what I'm saying? New Shell niggas, all my 914 cats, you know what I mean? But yeah, they have a show where they talk about financial literacy. They also have a co-host, um, and they do a show called Market Mondays. It's Earn Your Leisure, uh, and they did a they did a live show at the Garden. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching them for a while. I enjoy their content. I definitely learn a lot from their shit. If you've never seen it, definitely check them out. They shit is dope. Um, but I went to the live show. You know what I'm saying? That shit was wavy. They had, you know what I mean? Uh, Don Peebles was there. If you don't know who Don Peebles is, look him up. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely one of the richest black men in the world. You know what I'm saying? Don Peebles, uh, he's... He also uh, owns the most real estate of any black person in the country. You know what I'm saying? He has over $10 billion in real estate assets. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's one of my favorite niggas. You know what I mean? He's from New York. So, yeah, that was the Don Peebles, man. Mm-hmm. But uh, he was there. He spoke at the joint. Uh, Floyd Mayweather was there. He spoke at the joint. Uh, Jada was there. He basically, like, did a rendition of, like, his versus performance. You know what I'm saying? So that was dope because we was, like, in the garden. So he was, like, you know, it was kind of like a, like a, yo, if y'all, y'all know what I'm about to do type <laughs> shit. And it killed that shit. He also brought out Lil C's do a couple songs. So, you know, C's. Lil C's from um, Bad Boy? Junior Mafia, Mafia. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. He did his okay. joints, you know what I'm saying? Like, his, you know, C's got a couple classics and shit. They were big and Kim and all that. So he went through his joints. Right. And then they did um Benjamins together. All right. You know what I mean? Like they, you know, C's don't got a verse on there, but they did like uh like C's like backed them up while Jada did it type shit. That shit was dope though. Um Yeah, man. You know, them niggas, I, I fuck with they shit, I fuck with their content, man. Like I said, man, it's a lot of people putting out bullshit in the world, man. So I fuck Absolutely. with Absolutely. Especially our people from our people from our culture, niggas that's not putting out bullshit to the world. And niggas that's actually talking about shit that they know what the fuck they talking about. You know what I'm saying? I'm big on like if you're gonna be in a field 
of business or craft or art form or whatever you pick to be your life, like this is what I do, you should try to be as knowledgeable as you can and as skilled as you can in that shit. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not, I really don't give a fuck what you're talking about. Like, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Not because you don't deserve to have an opinion, because the internet gives people an opinion because they have thumbs and because they have a mouth. I respect your opinion because you have the uh, motherfucking... Knowledge on that. Yeah, you did the work to right. back up the shit that you telling me. Right. Why you feel the way that you feel. Like, niggas just be wanting to talk about feelings because they got them. I don't give a fuck how you feel, really. Like, just because, like, if you just feel how you feel just for the sake of feeling shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it like needs to be some like reasoning assholes, behind man. the feelings. Yeah. Feelings you know is like saying? assholes. Nigga, everybody got one, nigga. Yeah, everybody so... Everybody got them. Exactly. So, and everybody got something to say. But that don't mean that I want to hear that shit. So I fuck with niggas that actually have something to say. They know what they're talking about. And they're not feeding bullshit to people when they speaking publicly or anywhere, for that matter. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Shout outs to them. Fucks with them. That's why I was like, yeah, they doing something in the garden. That's a big deal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'm in New York. So... Went to the joint. Shit was dope. It was definitely worth it. It was fire. Shouts to Market Mondays, EYL, all that good stuff, man. Go check them out if you've never seen it. Um, What else we got here? What we got here, Flukas? Uh, damn, man, you know. I ain't gonna lie. We kind of flying today. We flying. Last time, nigga, I was fucking high as a kite, man. I was high as giraffe pussy in this motherfucker, man. You know what I mean? I was talking slow motion. Nigga was hype. You know nigga what I'm saying? Flew through this shit. Who's that like? Yeah. She ain't even stop on Nigga, yeah, I'm on, I'm on point today, nigga. nigga I'm, 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 I'm rapping fire, baby. You had him a Red Bull. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas wouldn't even believe what, what time it actually is right now. Yeah, man. We shaking and moving, man. Um, uh, what's going on? Oh. I ain't gonna lie, I don't even know. I've been out the loop with the sports. I missed a whole bunch of games. I'll be watching the game. I ain't gonna know. Matter of fact, I know a little bit. The Kings doing good. They actually been playing ball good. The Lakers is still doing all right. Russ is actually doing better. Huh? Yeah, the Knicks. The Knicks is back to being acting like the Knicks. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. we, still, we still love you, Knicks. I don't want to hear what you said. We still love you, Knicks. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? I don't want to hear what I got to say. And then, um, <laughs> you know, it's all good, though, man. Shouts to the Giants. The Giants still doing well. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And that's really it, man. You know, I just watch the teams I give a fuck about. I don't really, like, I ain't going to lie. I watch a lot of basketball, but I don't watch, uh, like, I'm not keeping up with the standards and shit right now, at least not this early in the season. You know what I'm saying? Right, there's niggas that be on it, though. Yeah, and a lot of niggas be on that shit because they be betting. It's, it's mad betting, niggas yeah. that done turned into Stephen A. Spliff because they be betting on shit. Now niggas into the game. Right. Fuck it. Nah, not I. Oh, we got an over-under for y'all. Yeah, yeah. It's a very special one. <clears throat> to both me and Flu. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, ooh, I feel like a sneak. Ooh, bless you, my knew that was coming. Bless okay, you. so we got the over under. Over under. The one and only, the incomparable. Uh huh. Max Bigavell. Max B. Big Jig and Pac all rolled in one. You know what I'm saying? Now I feel like he was a great candidate for an over or underrated conversation. Because to some people, it's, well, now he's kind of grown. I wouldn't say in fame. He's grown in infamy. You know what I'm saying? In the time since he's been gone. You know, if you're not familiar, Big Vell is a rapper from New York City, from Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was a part of uh, Dipset, Bird Gang to be exact, which was like an offshoot of Dipset at the time. Um, then he made his own crew, you know, Gang Green. Then he got with French Montana, and they made uh, Coke Wave. 
You know what I'm saying? And throughout all of those times and all of those uh, different uh, chapters of his career, and his career wasn't that long. It only was like five years long. It was maybe from 2004 <clears throat> to 2009, and then that was it. So all the songs that you hear from Max B that's in the world is from them four or five years that he was... He was still in and out of jail. During yeah, four, like he had years. a bunch <laughs> of shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Out on bail with a story to tell. You know what I'm saying? So my nigga was definitely, he left his imprint in each of those chapters. You know what I mean? And to some people, we loved them. Like me and Flu, we we love, I'm not going to lie, we kind of biased for this conversation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like to, to us, I mean, he's, you super, ask me, he's super underrated. I mean, you ask me my, my answer, you already know is we don't need to communicate. Uh-huh. Fuck is all the chat for? Yeah. Throw oh, some nigga face up and clap the backboard. Backboard, yeah. <laughs> Yo, B, yeah. I don't, ain't really know, ain't nothing to really talk about. If you caught in a tight situation, be cool. Be cool, man. Caught in a tight situation, be cool. But listen, man. You gotta, you gotta understand Big Vell and the impact that he left. Not only on New York City, but the world. If you ever said that something is wavy, it's because of that man. I don't care what nobody told you. It's because of that man. If you fucking niggas singing on their records, you can't credit him all the way. You got to give credit to Ja Rule. You got to give credit to 50 Cent, to these kind of guys. But he is on the list. You know what I'm saying? You got guys like, like, like that, like 50 Cent, like Nate Dogg, like niggas who are known for hip-hop crooning, for lack of a better word. You know what I'm saying? He was one of those, and he did that shit in a way that touched people in a way that's hard to explain. But my son, he did something, and he left an impact on people, and he dropped a whole lot of fucking music in a short amount of time. Yeah, he, was a work- you know he was a workaholic, too, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, you know, niggas give him credit. Niggas like A Boogie, Wiz he Khalifa, was were like the mixtape ever. You know what I'm saying? That's a it's niggas that give him credit. Yeah, no, he was he was an early uh, what's the name? I wouldn't say pioneer, but he was in that second. He was a pioneer to this era of dropping music, like how it's like a fucking how you drop a free project on the internet, and niggas like that started like the whole Dat Piff live mixtapes, all that shit. You can just put it right there. All that all that shit started. Um, during his era, yeah. he was a big part of that. So yeah, now nah, Big Vell most definitely underrated. Some people say overrated. The reason why he's on the list is because some people would debate what we say. It. You welcome to get in the comments or do your own video, whatever. In response to this video, I know our niggas do the review shit, whatever. However you want to do it, but uh. A lot of people felt, you know, this is before auto-tune was really popular. You know what I'm saying? So they, you know, my nigga was just on there getting to it. It's a lot of raw vocals. <laughs> a lot of shit is not mixed, you know? It's definitely raw. My nigga was in there just working. You know he what I'm was, saying? He was, and putting yeah, he them was shits different. out. He wasn't even wasting no time. He was getting right to it. So Man, listen. a lot of people, keep it funky, a lot of people was like, ah, I'm fucking with this shit. This nigga can't even sing. You know what I mean? But, but, in hindsight, Your and when you go back, with it. <laughs> that shit has stood the test of time, for sure. Yeah, man, but nah, that shit has definitely stood the test of time. When you go back and listen to them joints, them shits is still wavy, man. Yeah. To this day. You know, so definitely, if you're not familiar with Max Big Avail, man, look that man up. Take a day, go listen to his music, man. Day. That nigga got all kind of shit, all yeah, kind of man. flavors. How you, you know what I'm saying? You got to listen. He said take a day and go listen to his shit. That's that's how much music he had. So he got he got a shitload of fucking music. Not man. like, yo, go listen to his album, man, or go, I mean, go listen to a couple of his songs. Take a yeah. day. Nah, man. Drive around. Big Avell need his flowers, man. He influenced a lot of people, man. Let your kids listen to it. He dropped a lot of music in a short span of time, man, and niggas heard that shit, and and niggas ran with it. You know what I'm saying? You could arguably say 
that the shit that Max was doing, French Montana was able to use as the launching pad for his success, which is a good thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad, you know what I mean? But French was doing his thing too. No, though. French was doing his thing, but Max I had he clean. had a thing that was a thing. Like it's yeah. hard to explain. And but that's why that's why Max fucked with him because he was doing his thing too. Yeah. I mean, Max wasn't really gonna fuck with him because he fucking with no, no. Yeah, no, nah. But no it was regular. also it was also a different a different uh. You know, because they definitely they did come together. You know, they was on some diss and stuff. We're not gonna talk about the disrespectful parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they came together. You know, an enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing. It was also that too. Mm-hmm. And Fred tried the DVD. He had an outlet. Yeah. So he could That's be... what I'm saying, yeah. But musically, it, what the streets was bumping, because you can't say we wasn't really bumping front yet. It wasn't. All that I mean, chopper down and all that shit came after. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was listening to friends. I mean, but I know it wasn't in the nah, streets. Like, I can't I know it wasn't... tell you. I cannot tell you three songs before Big Avell that was popping. I mean, I can't. It was no songs that was popping. That's but, but that's what I'm trying to say. Of course, he had me. Yeah, he, I didn't say mm-hmm. he started rapping. Yeah. Like, but and I was listening to those tapes because I'm, I'm a different type. Because you was there in the session. Yeah. That's why, I nigga. Because French is from the Bronx. <laughs> Z been in every Bronx nigga session at nah, least nah, once. Nah. You from the Bronx? Z was there. He was in your <laughs> shit. You might nah. not even invited him. He was there because you invited another Bronx nigga, <laughs> and he nah. brought Z. He was dead, nigga. I just blew away. <laughs> yeah. You know. But yeah, man. Shouts to Bigger Vel, man. Much love to Bigger VZ, man. Free the free wave. The, free the boss down, man. Free the wave, man. Boss down, Bigger Vel, man. Free my nigga boss down, Bugatti, too, man. Free yes, all sir. the boss dons, man. You know what I'm saying? Daddy. Yeah, that boy be home soon, by the way. But, uh, yeah, man. What we got? I think we Gucci, man. We just had to come tap in with my niggas real quick, man. That's a fact. I think we Gucci, man. I got my little notes down here. If you see me looking down, I'm like, what's, 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 <laughs> what's up with the what's up, man? You know? Ain't nothing too crazy, man. Shouts to Big Avell. Shouts to Bean. It's Bean Day. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Smoke some weed and fucking relax, man. Chill out, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't get crazy out here. Just do what you got to do, man. You know what I mean? Light up and lay down, man. Light up. And fucking lay down, man. I told you Christmas is coming, man. Get something for the fucking babies, man. Go to work, man, when you wake up, nigga. And wash your ass before you leave the house, too. <laughs> and brush your motherfucking jibs, man. Yeah, please do that, man. Because you're going to talk to somebody today. Yeah, man, don't be a nigga's face with your shit, still man. in fact. And so back the fuck up, too. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man. Ain't too much more, man. I'm Zoo motherfucking bees. That's just the motherfucking smoothest. We got me. Team Bean in the back, man. Uh-huh. You know the fucking vibes, man.